Hey you guys, it's Linnea. Today I have a fun two for one stencil technique that uses up all of the extra ink that's left on a stencil after you blend on your background. So I'm going to be using a couple of stencils from Simon Hurley Create as well as an older stamp set with a new stamp set for my sentiments. So I started off with the back splash stencil. I taped that on to a piece of cardstock with some purple tape. And I'm going to be using some of his inks, mostly new inks, and then one of the older ones. I have Guppy, Tropical Tango, Remember Me, and Crown Me inks. Now when I blend a background, I do it the same way that I color with alcohol markers. So I start with my darkest color, and then go to my mediums, and then my lights, if that makes sense. So for this one, I'm going to start with purple, and then which is the Crown Me, and then I'll move into the Remember Me and then the Tropical Tango, and then the Guppy. This way, I don't have to go back and forth a lot. You'll see me kind of go back between the Guppy and the Tropical Tango, and then also a little bit with that Remember Me. But for me, I just find that my blends are easier if I go this way, kind of in reverse rainbow order. And I just wanna say how much I love this ink color that you get when you overlap the Guppy with the Tropical Tango. You get this fun, deep green color, maybe a mid to deep green color, super fun. So I'm gonna peel away this stencil and here I'm left with a background like what you would expect to get when you blend ink onto a stencil or over a stencil onto a piece of cardstock. Now this is where you would normally clean off your stencil because you're done with it. Instead, I grabbed my Distress Sprayer with some water in it, gave that stencil a spritz or two and then I laid another piece of white cardstock and I am working with the Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock. I just spritzed that stencil a little bit, laid my uh, cardstock piece into it, and then I'm gonna pick it up and look at all this excess ink that was left on the stencil is now transferred onto my cardstock. So I did that once with that um, the backsplash stencil and that's a fairly detailed stencil. And so I decided to try this again with the Stargazer stencil because look at all that negative space, you can really see that ink sitting on top of the stencil because the part that is actually stenciled onto the cardstock is just those stars. So you have a lot of negative space left on the stencil that's going to grab onto the ink. So I use those same four colors of ink and I have that fun, bold, starry background. And now I'm going to grab my sprayer again, spritz this stencil down, and once again lay a piece of that Simon Hurley Create Stark White cardstock over the stencil. And I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth. This is what I use to clean my stamps with. That's why it's so filthy dirty. I'm just going to give the back of that cardstock a good rub, and then I'll flip this over and check out that background. It uses up just that leftover ink, so it's going to be a much softer variation of the background. Almost pastel um, and more like a second or third generation stamping but you usually just wipe away and clean away that ink and it gets totally wasted so this is something that I love to do and I have a whole basket of backgrounds after I've stenciled onto a piece of cardstock I just give it a good spritz and lay up another piece of cardstock over top of it and just pick up that ink so I am using now the um, space training stamp set. I stamped out the little bear head as well as the little puppy head and I'm just going to color these in really quickly and then I'll use my scissors to trim around them just leaving a simple white border. These cards are going to be really simple because I wanted to keep the focus on the background technique. So once I have those little critters cut out I'm going to start with my stargazer backgrounds. So on the left, you can see my original stenciled background. And on the right is that variation where you get that um, extra ink. I'm not even sure what to call this technique. Um, you just kind of pick up the ink with water. That's my second background, the one that you're not supposed to have, I guess. I'm going to take the words or the letters that spell out the word hello, also from the space training stamp set. I'll center that up in the bottom-ish portion of both of these Stargazer backgrounds, and I'm gonna stamp it with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, just so I'll have a bold black sentiment, and I'll stamp that onto each of those backgrounds, 
And then I'm going to use some foam squares behind both the bear head and the puppy head, and I will just pop those up right above the sentiment. And that's gonna finish off those two cards. So for my next two cards, where I use the backsplash stencil, I thought that this background kind of looked more um, unique, or not unique, but maybe more fancy. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Encouraging Words stamp set. This is my favorite stamp set from the Simon Hurley Create product line. I love big, bold sentiments, and I love the handwriting uh, of these fonts, it's super unique and I really love it. So again, I'm just gonna stamp the You Are a Blessing right in the center of those two cards and I'm not gonna do anything else to finish that off. So here you can see the Stargazer or rather the Backsplash cards that I used, the original on the left and then that second generation inking on the right. And then these are the two Stargazer cards. And you can really see the difference between using a detailed stencil and using a stencil that has more of that negative space. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you're inspired to look at your stencils a new way and really use them to create more backgrounds. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.